anything, you know, this and that. Like, that that wasn't, you know, such a common thing. So Yeah. 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 That's... That's an extraordinary amount of added responsibilities. Um, yeah. What what was was there anything sort of in effect to encourage, you know, by self care or, you know, anything to help you as a worker in your shelter? Um, I wouldn't say that self care was being encouraged by our management. To be honest. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say if anything, they kind of try to, um, like, our, when there were, especially when there were positive cases, we had managers that just didn't want to come in. They refused to come in. Um, and so a lot of the times it was, I'm just going to have to make a, a, like, you know, a decision on my own regarding this mm-hmm. situation, that situation. Um, yeah, I didn't, I personally didn't feel like a lot of compassion from them in terms of, Wow, you've done so much, or you know, so much has been added onto your plate. You know, make sure and take care of you. Um, it was more so along the lines of, I have to be there, I have to show up, which is fine. It's my job, I love it. But God forbid, I'm afraid of catching COVID. Of course, because of somebody else having COVID in in, in house. Uh huh. Of um, course. I I didn't think that you know there would be much encouragement as to okay, if you don't feel safe coming in, don't. Okay. Um, as well, I understand that legally you have every right to refuse to test people if you don't want to, because that's not the field that I'm in. I'm not in the medical field. Mm-hmm. But that was not, that wasn't really conveyed to us. It was more so these people need to be, um, tested every, every two days, and this is what you need to execute. Oh, so you had to test residents every two days? When, when we had our, our breakout, I yeah. See. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, every wow. time out yeah it was like that well wow. and um did you receive any um extra benefits or you know pay or anything to deal with the additional responsibilities that you were required to administer? oh wow no um i know there was a time in 2020 where the government did provide the extra pay i think it was like two or three dollar extra pay yeah that was for a short amount of time, and that didn't apply to me when I did get hired, nor does it apply to me now, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, and I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear. Um, that yeah. just sounds like a lot. Um Okay, I'm mindful of the time, so I'm going to just ask yes. two more questions. Um, yes. Have you, um, or what impact, if any, do you feel that the pandemic has had on your working relationships, either with other social services or the criminal justice system, like the police, for example? Hmm. Um, I'm not... You know, honestly, I'm not 100% sure because when I was a student in 2019, I didn't deal as much with the criminal justice system nor the police. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I I wouldn't be able to answer that, I don't think. Okay, okay, no worries at all. Sorry. Oh, no, don't apologize. Um, And you had mentioned um, government funding uh, and how there was a period of time where there was some extra support, um, but that was quite limited. Right. Um, Do you feel that overall your shelter received enough government support during the pandemic? Um, And if not... um, or why or why not? I think I know the answer to this already. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't think so. Because even, you know, in terms of employees, like being exposed, mm-hmm. That's important to have, like, a, a separate type of funding that if you're exposed and you now have COVID, you're not using your own sick time. Yeah. And there's, like, a COVID fund or a relief fund or something like that, right? Because mm-hmm. I know there was a time where there was a woman in shelter 
that was positive and she was quite symptomatic and I was exposed to her so I was pushed into the 14 day isolation period. I was, I was negative but that still meant work. Well, I did get paid but I believe it came out of my sick time. Oh. And that's not fair because, you know, what if I break a leg later on, then what? where, where is that sick time going to come from? Mm-hmm. Kind of thing, you know, so it was it was very interesting. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's right. Like- you know, I mean, it's a, it's a you know, it, it, I, and I asked the question about government funding because, you know, yes. we, we saw, you know, so much in the media about how much the government was giving shelters. And so we've uh-huh. been asking about, well, this is what we, you know, read and see on TV or whatever, but what does it actually translate to yeah. in your day-to-day work life? Right. Right. Yeah. And if that's what's actually happening in your work life, then it's, you know, it's kind of a meaningless, you know, it's kind of for show in some ways, right? Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I see that. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And um, what additional supports do you feel that your shelter needs um, right now and to also continuing offer, to offer services during the pandemic and after? Like, if there's um, anything you can think of. Like, if you want us to advocate for something, what would you want us to advocate for? Um, I would love to advocate for better pay. Yeah, okay. First of all, absolutely. Um, because, again, like, I'm having to go in and expose myself and test people. And that's just, that's not okay to me. Like, one of my managers talked about, like, how nurses and doctors do this all the time. And it's like... I applaud them that that's their job and they get paid specifically to do those things. That's not what I'm specifically getting paid to do, um, nor is my colleague. So, can, like, can we just add on some hazard pay mm-hmm. to, to our salaries? Um, you know, we've, we've had great supplies of PPE and masks and stuff like that. Um, so I, I don't think... Like, that has been too much of an issue. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of, like, um, you know, people in the community want to reach out and donate food and order food and send it to us or donate, like, toiletries and and even masks and stuff like that. Like, that that has been such a wonderful thing. Um, There was something that I was going to say, but I think it it slipped my mind. Mm -hmm. Um, can you just ask me the question again? Yes, yes. Uh, what additional supports uh, do you feel that you need during this time um, as well as after the pandemic? And what would you want us to advocate for on your behalf? Mm. Um, I think, like, social workers have been become so burnt out mm-hmm. during this time and compassion fatigue is such a thing. Um, I know for myself, like, I'm very self-aware, so I try to always on to, I didn't like that I did that, you know, and, and I know during this time, like, I've, I've definitely experienced a lot of compassion fatigue, um, and burnout, especially in those isolation periods where I'm, I'm a chef and I'm a, I'm a cleaner and whatever, whatever, but I'm not wearing the hat of social worker really, um, you know, managing a, uh, my client file. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think there needs to be better advocacy for, for self-care or for us, you know, um, and I don't, I don't really know what that looks like, mm-hmm. but, you know, definitely, like, self-care promotion, um, and even, like, amongst, amongst the clients, you know, like, like, definitely a better, a better approach to them, um, because, you know, things like, Asking them if they're vaccinated on a crisis call is ridiculous, or, or you know, berating them until they receive a vaccine is, is it's not okay. Like, mm-hmm. like this, these things should not be mandatory. Um, another thing that diminished during this time is overnights. Like, um, before before going before going into the pandemic, like families were allowed to go on overnight. Um, children were able to have access on the weekends with their with their you know fathers or uh, parents or whatever, mm-hmm. 
and what the women themselves were allowed to go on two overnights as for the ministry and our funding. Um, but now that's been completely done away with. Um, and so I, I don't think